And also, the devil are you putting in there, Ice? Who wants a warm martini? What makes you think I need one? Sometimes, a man will tell his bartender things he'll never tell his doctor. What's been on your mind, Chris? The fight on Rigel 7? Shouldn't it be? My only omen and two others dead, seven injured. Was there anything you personally could have done to prevent it? Oh, I should have smelled trouble when I saw the swords in the armor. Instead of that, I let myself get trapped in that deserted fortress and attacked by one of their warriors. Chris, you set standards for yourself no one could meet. You treat everyone on board like a human being except yourself. And now you're tired and you... You bet I'm tired. You bet. I'm tired of being responsible for 203 lives. And I'm tired of deciding which mission is too risky and which isn't and who's going on the landing party and who doesn't and who lives and who dies. Oh, I've, I've had it, Phil. To the point of finally taking my advice, arrest leave. To the point of considering resigning. And do what? Well, for one thing, go home. Nice little town with 50 miles of parkland around it. Remember I told you I had two horses and we used to take some food and ride out all day? Well, that sounds exciting. You ride out with a picnic lunch every day. I said that's one place I might go. Oh, I, I'd go into business on regulars or on the Orion colony. You, an Orion trader, dealing in green animal women slaves? But the point is that this isn't the only life available. It's a whole galaxy of things to choose from. Not for you. A man either lives life as it happens to him, meets it head on and licks it, or he turns his back on it and starts to wither away. Now you're beginning to talk like a doctor. Bartender. You take your choice. We both get the same two kinds of customers. The living and the dying. 